Hello everyone and welcome. It's Keeper MC and we continue our survival on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, 2p2t.org. Yeah, I tried to land on a roof, <laughs> but instead landed down in here. Ooh, there are treasure maps. I wonder if they are fixed. That would be nice as well. Why so many drowned? This probably is this suspicious gravel. So maybe I should note the coordinates and check on it later. I guess we already discovered one of those new things, <laughs> which is a cherry blossom biome. That's cool. And those particles, this is just the best part. <laughs> Buzzy bees and pinky trees. So yeah, new colors of wood. Which is amazing. And lots of creativity options together with that, including the flowers. Oh, and there seems to be a village as well. That's a lucky find. Yeah, of course, slightly weird village, I'd say. But it's still cool. And I wonder, since we are on a huge hill, if there is any chance for an ancient city. I guess not, because I think the chances of it appearing somewhere near the big waters are quite low. So I should probably not waste any time in here. And what would you look at that? These caves are huge, oh wow. But I cannot see any signs of an ancient city or even like a dark, uh, deep dark biome. Wait, what? There's a spawner. That's funny. Multi-shot. Ooh, I would actually love to have that. Yeah, so I saved, saved the coordinates, so if I would decide to get this multi-shot, I could simply fly in here and get that to myself. It would be actually sick if there would be sort of a natural feature. How can you discover uh, the deep dark biome? For example, I don't know, suddenly when you are above it, there is like absolute silence or like no mobs are spawning even the peaceful ones something like a small hint for the players that would be amazing okay this biome might or might not be the one to check Honestly, not sure. But it's really interesting to see the entrance to the mine shafts right away next to the village. That's really cool. Ow. So I guess we have to go down the caves and see if there is a deep dark biome. I mean, these hills are huge, both these ones and the ones on this side. There is not that much water around, so maybe I should check.
nice. Okay, I spent probably, I don't know, half an hour and did not find, haven't found anything, so let's move on. Okay, this one is massive as well. Let's check it out. Nope. Ah. Really? Okay, I start to hear a lava somewhere. But we still need to go way deeper than that. Soon we will see the deep slate, probably. And then, fingers crossed. Because this mountain is huge. And I guess soon we will just hit the bedrock. And there will be nothing. Because, yeah, I think if there would be any huge systems of uh, caves to accommodate the ancient city, probably we would already see them. Yep. So here's the bedrock. And nothing else around us. I could probably spend a few more minutes in here listening to the mobs trying to understand in which direction there is like anything and then see or maybe just do some strip mining and every day in in every day or just do some strip mining in every direction in order to see if there is like anything happening at all now it is strange that there is like no mobs at all because i clearly cannot hear any sounds which could be a good indication of an ancient city, but then we should hear something else, like bats and the sensors going off. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I know, it's super smart of me to go with all the shulker boxes without setting the spawn point and actually without saving the coordinates. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to see if there is like an ancient city or it's just simply a small deep dark biome. And the sounds were seemingly going up. We are leaving. <laughs> and now we are not able to hear the warden. So probably it either despawned, either went to hunt down some mobs. So let's use this chance to approach. And maybe let's gapple up first. Probably would be a good idea to actually place the shulker boxes, but since I'm not planning to stay around, we can try to... I can barely see... Ah, oh, come on! Ah, the 
that's so scary. <laughs> okay, bet I will fix the shader thing and we'll try again later on. I just want to be sure. <laughs> okay, that's better. Yeah, so I got my Optifine updated and also put the latest version of BSL shaders and feels like home. <laughs> and despite it's been probably like 24 hours since uh, I left yesterday, the warden is still here, so I bet no one was in here. So the chunks were deloaded. Smell me. But he's super close. He's super close. <laughs> so there's clearly an open space above me. Okay, let's wait. I really want to place a torch because in case if I will have to run I will need to be really fast so not to miss the exit point let's say Yeah, so probably that was the spot where he stopped waiting for me and where he has despawned. Yeah, I really need that swift sneak enchantment because otherwise that's so slow. Okay, I need to go up in there. Which is a bit dangerous because when you're leaving the deep dark, regular mobs could start spawning. And this could cause hell of a noise. Okay, there does not seem to be an ancient city, but I heard like sort of a theory that it is always a good idea to do some mining in all of the directions because it could be that this is just the beginning of the deep dark and like 50 blocks away in some direction there suddenly would be a city so maybe I should truly take care of those shriekers and then check <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I think I understood. <laughs> is farming zombies. That's funny. How bad is that idea? several gapples. <laughs> How much health does he have? I hope he is also getting some damage from Thorns. No, you shut... did it boys and girls ladies and gentlemen it was totally unnecessarily but wow that was funny especially how he's blasting zombies uh. I was probably supposed to leave like, I don't know, a few hours ago because there doesn't seem to be any signs of the city. But yeah, you know me. I wonder if I would be able to propel myself. so good to be outside even though it's night and whew, there are mobs but this hill seems to be empty so we keep going okay I'm now in the other cave under the huge hill with the huge village on the side of it and no water around, so it could be something that... Ooh, there is a deep dark right away. Okay, but first things first, I noticed that there is a mine shaft, so I can get some wood for the torches because I, of course, forgot to take some with me. Probably do not need that much, but if you have a place for a stack, you get a stack. Okay, seems that there is nothing. Unfortunately, even though probably I'm supposed to go deeper, uh, the worst part of it is that I already lost my... <laughs> original point of let's say entry 
So I will have to dig a new tunnel once I will decide to leave. Okay, so we are kind of in a deep dark. There are sensors and stuff, but there is no as any like signs of the city. I'm not sure if uh, the fact that we are in a dripstone cave, I think was the name, uh, affects the, the, the chances of uh, an ancient city to appear. Because I think the lush caves do have more chances for that, but I guess we need to dig a bit deeper and see for ourselves. <sighs> Nothing in there as well. Yeah, this one is a huge hill. Sure thing. The problem is that there is a lot... Lots of water around. So I'm not sure if it's even worth checking. But since now it is a day, maybe let's just dig it. Or not. Because once again this is a dripstone. Guess not. What about this huge hill, which is right next to this one? Ah, let's do it. Nope. I have a strong suspect that uh, I should probably start focusing on the mountains with the lush caves in them. So maybe next time there will be some. I will try specifically that one. Because, yeah, this is already second, even if not third, mountain with the dripstone caves. And as you saw it, we have a deep dark, but no ancient cities. So, it has been probably four days since the moment I left. And uh, I already got scared, let's say, the hell out of me. Because uh, I've been like, I don't know, uh, visiting four, even if not five, other locations. And at one moment, uh, I finished, let's say, strip mining on the lowest levels, almost near the bedrock. Blocked the exit, let's say, tunnels and flew away. Server started to lag and I got disconnected while at the same time falling into the unloaded chunks and uh, I was not able to log in back to the server because I got pushed back into the queue and yeah I was scared that as long as I will log in I will find myself somewhere around the void or already dead. What was interesting is that not only did I survive but actually got teleported back to the location uh, where I was mining and uh, actually behind the blocked wall. So yeah, I don't know what logic was applied or what issues server was sort of encountering, but uh, I am just happy that <laughs> I managed to 
uh, leave that place in one piece. And now I am in here. As you can see, we have a huge mountain in front of us. And the night is almost over. I bet we can call it a good sign that during the whole night I was staying in here trying to collect some wool. There was actually only two mobs. Which was the zombie you saw and the skeleton. And nothing else has appeared. Which sort of indicates that it's probably a deep dark right underneath and well <laughs> i'll just go ahead and tell you yes it does so yeah let's just go ahead and find the entrance i left a torch somewhere so hopefully i will be able to find it right in here so when I visited this place for the first time I had no big hopes but I still decided to check it out anyways and went down the caves without mining any tunnels and then I managed to find an ancient city, absolutely by accident. I was following the waterfall, let's say, in between of like a super tight space, just following the water down. And at one moment, and at one moment, I almost fell down into the skulk sensors. So, as you can see, that's the water source and that was the original entrance <laughs> yep i'm not sure why i have decided to to try it out but i'm happy i did and this is what we have in front of us so first of all i do see some chests already right away from here i also do see a lot of uh shriekers like really a lot. I mean, just look at this picture. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, even eight, I think. Eight shriekers in this just one particular image. That's just crazy. Okay, I think this chest is safe. So, let's see. If there's all the loot the city has to offer us, then I would call this a success. And I think we have a winner. <laughs> all right. So we have some musical discs, we have some books, some 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 other things. But I think the first thing, first we have to take a swift sneak. And uh, maybe somewhere outside I should actually try to apply it on my current pants. So that the whole exploration would take me not like millions of hours, but maybe like 200,000 hours. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. We finally managed to find one. So yeah, my plan is actually to prepare for uh, for the exploration. I need to accumulate lots of uh, wool so that I can uh, silence the shriekers while cleaning up the rest of, let's say, <laughs> aspects of this place. I should also make myself bed and probably set a spawn point right in here because I'm pretty sure I will die multiple times, no doubt. And uh, I just don't want to spend like days to go back in here uh, every time it happens. And of course, I do have lots of shelter boxes with me, so I need to take probably like two, three uh, of them with me, the ones which are empty, and the rest should be left right next to the bed or somewhere else. 
so that even if I will die, I won't use everything. Is that a zombie? Oh, this dude is smart. So yeah, if you like what you are seeing and are as excited as I am in regards to what is going to happen next, feel free to like and subscribe. And I will be happy to see you back in the next episode. Bye-bye, everyone.